Hey guys, um, today I wanted to tell y'all five things that I do to keep my significant other happy. So these are just really small little things that just try to be thoughtful with. Um, nothing like too extravagant. There's really not any like money involved or anything like that. Um, but these are just little things that I do to just make them kind of smile throughout their day or when they wake up or whatever. Um, so number one would be I write him notes. So I'll use little like note cards or just a sheet of paper or something. And I'll either write Bible verses on there for something that maybe he's going through, like a rough spot, a rough spot or um, work's been really hard or just anything. I'll use like a Bible verse for him to relate to. Or I'll just write him like something really sweet, something short. Or I'll even sometimes write him like a really long paragraph um, just telling him how much I appreciate him. And typically, I set those things like, um, for instance, in the morning when he wakes up, he goes straight to the bathroom. So I stay up later than him, so maybe I'll write that note while he's asleep, and I'll go stick it by the sink for when he brushes his teeth in the morning, or on top of his clothes before he gets ready, or sometimes I've even stuck him in his lunchbox so that when he goes to work, maybe he's had a bad day or a bad morning, he goes to eat, and he sees that and it kind of brightens his day up um number two is i pack his lunch and i know that seems silly and some people probably do it without you know even thinking or whatever but i go ahead and as soon as he gets home if i'm already cooking and already in the kitchen um i'll go in there and i'll pack his lunch and i don't know <laughs> how y'all's significant other is but he loves being surprised, like we have different variety of snacks and I'll mix it up every day or even different sandwich meat. I know that seems so small and really silly, but um, those kind of things like that make him happy. So number three is I make dinner every night. Well, not every single night, but almost every single night I make dinner and I always try my best to if I am able, um, I cannot talk, um, make his plate and then bring him his plate and also like ask him what he wants to drink and bring that. Or sometimes I'll even have it like sitting out ready on the table. Um, Cause when he gets home, he's been working seven days a week. So when he gets home, it's really late. Um, I've already had dinner cooked for a while and I'll just set it out, put it on the plate and set it right here. And I'll be waiting for him to get out of the shower or whatever to eat dinner. Um, I don't even know if those, if he even like, these are things he even really notices or takes to, but to me, I think it would, me personally, it would make my day a little brighter. So that's kind of what I do for him. Um, and number four would be, I lay his clothes out for him. Now, since we've moved, not so much anymore because actually I set his closet up to where the top shelf has all of his work pants and all of his work shirts and then short sleeves and long sleeve shirts so he could just grab and go. But when we lived in Florida, I did. I made sure that I um, laid out his work clothes, everything from his boxers, socks to shirts and pants, and I had it all laid out. Um, lately, something small that I try to do for him, since he is working so many hours, um, He's working like 15 hours in seven days a week. So when he comes home, his work boots are sweaty or they're wet on the inside. So I try to take baking soda or some baby powder, or whatever I have, gold bond um, powder and, you know, fix his boots and make sure they're not stinky. And then I'll put them on um, the little drying rack for boots. I try to do just little stuff like that, that it's so, you know, so tiny, but I feel like we make them when they go to look for it or find it, you know, a little more bright. And the last thing that I do um, that probably most people that live together do for their significant other as far as women go, um, I keep his toiletries stocked. So anything from toothpaste to mouthwash, body wash, um, bars of soap, 
hand soap, deodorant, shampoos, all of that. I keep all of that stocked up so that he does not, because one thing I know that he hates to do is go grocery shopping. So if I can prevent him from having to even tell me what he needs or be, you know, run out of something, being that he does work seven days a week, we don't have time to be like, oh, well, you can go, you know, a couple hours without deodorant, you know, just go to the store. Well, we don't have that luxury. So, well, he doesn't. So I try to make sure that I keep all of that stock so that when he goes to grab and look for it, it's a no-brainer, it's there, and it's all accessible right there under his sink so he can get it and not even have to think twice about it. But I hope y'all enjoyed this. This is just something I just randomly thought about. Um, just five tiny, tiny, minute, random little things that I do to try to make my significant other smile. That's the best way to put it. So just to make their day a little bit easier and a little bit better and just a little bit brighter. But I hope you all enjoyed this. Maybe you all can get some ideas from what I said and use them yourself. Um, hey guys, welcome back. OMG. So, so today I was going to just, just do a little... Sorry. <laughs> my, my computer... Okay, so I, I just filmed a whole nother video. I don't know if y'all noticed, but if I wear the same clothes, it means I've filmed the same, you know, a video in the same day or whatever. I am so sorry about that because this was going to be such a good vlog, short and sweet, but I've got that. I just put them together. I had to merge some videos, but anyways, um, like I said, this was just something super small, something random I thought about, but I hope you all find it kind of useful and can bounce ideas off of what I do me for me personally that works for us um but I hope you all enjoyed this so I'll see you all next time